trying to hang on in there. Jove Lively coming under a bit of pressure as they race towards the next. War of Attrition is out wide of Cornati Kid. Very wide is My Will clearing that one. And an accordion, Nenefar Kalonj is flat to the boards. Denman on the left, just in behind Barber's shot, stalking him as they run towards the next plane fence. Niche Market alongside Denman there. Kitty Glenn climb that slightly. Barber's shot travels well still from Joe Lively, the yellow jacket, then Cornati Kid as they now race towards the exit of the back straight. About three quarters of a mile left to cover from here and Denman takes it up from Niche Market. Barber's shop is third. What a friend now goes well. Look at that, the white jacket, Sam Thomas, the stable companion of the leader. In the sheepskin noseband, what a friend just hunting up the leaders as they swing left-handed towards the cross fence. Denman, Barber's shop, Niche Market, then Joe Lively. What a friend looking dangerous. Gone to lunch is a bit off these. Great jump from Denman at the cross fence. Joe Lively met it wrong. That was a superb jump from Denman. Took another length out of them. Barber's shop in second. Niche Market is third. The crowd are beginning to roar him on as they run left-handed and enter the home straight. It's the top weight Denman that leads from Barber's shop. Niche Market but in behind. What a friend has travelled well all the way and looks sure to play a part. They race down towards the fourth blast. Denman is challenged by Barber's shop on the far side but another great jump from the leader. He's gone three lengths clear and suddenly they're at it in behind. He's racing now towards the final open ditch. Denman Denman by three lengths, his stable companion now in hot pursuit, what a friend. Barber Shop in third, Niche Market in fourth, then gone to lunch and snowy morning. Two fences to jump, Denman is taken on by what a friend. There's a huge weight difference, Denman by about a length. What a friend challenging in second place. Ruby Walsh and Sam Thomas, a score to be settled. Then Barber Shop and Niche Market racing towards the final fence. What a friend is hanging, he looks awkward. Denman still fighting over the last good jump again from Denman and he lands in front on the run for home Denman pulling out more from what a friend he's under 11 stone 12 one of the great performances in jump race history Denman by three legs to what a friend Denman is keeping on another demolition job from Denman and he wins his second Hennessy a heroic victory six with a clear lead of two and a half lengths now under so jumps well into second sprinter Sacker was over in third Dodge Dodging bullets on the inside, Summersby taken quite wide, pulling up at the back of the field is Sizing Granite. They go down towards the water jump. Under so on the outside of Special Tiara, the first two, followed by Summersby out wide with Sprinter Sacra. Then just Cameron and Dodging bullets on the inside, then the light blue of God's Own and Sayad Agruji as they go over the first of the two open ditches. Sprinter Sacra just had to reach for that and just pushed away from the fence was Dodging bullets. So now they make the climb. On now towards fence number nine and it was special tiara who led under so in second dodging bullets once again not quite as fluent as some and now just cameron is being ridden along as they now go over the top of the hill and they have another no, four fences to take in the Betway Queen Mother Champion Chase and it is Special Tiara and under so the first two. A great leap in third by Sprinter Sacra. Back in fourth was Summersby as they now make the run across the top end of the track. Felix Jonga has been pulled up. So now only eight remain and now on the outside Ruby Walsh has now allowed under so to take the lead. On the inside Special Tiara now drops back a length. Break now of two and a half lengths to the Pushed along, Sprinter Sacra, Summersby, God's Own, dodging bullets, and then Just Cameron and Syed Agruji now has some 12 lengths to find as Underso crosses over the third from home. A slight mistake by Sprinter Sacra, but he has now improved into second on the inside of Special Tiara. A break of three lengths back to God's Own as they race into the dip. They have two fences to take in the 2016 Betway Queen Mother Champion Chase and the old champion, the 2013 champion, Sprinter Sacra has sprung into the lead, a slight stumble on the final turn, here's the second from home, Sprinter Sacra clears away by three, under so on the inside, followed by Special Tiara and God's Own, Sprinter Sacra is over the final fence and clear, under so is in second, back in third, Special Tiara, followed then by God's Own, but it is Sprinter Sacra, they say they never come back. This is one of the great comebacks in the history of the Cheltenham Festival as Sprinter Sacra is the champion again.
off position, Echoes in Rain at the back, Brandy Love, two lengths ahead of her on the dark blue of Theatre Glory, also towards the rear of the field. Running up towards the top of the hill. Very little change in the order. Uh, lead continues with Love Envoi. Honeysuckle is not that far behind her, though. Touches down about a length and a half behind in second place. With a noseband, Marie's Rock, Nico de Boinville up into third place. And then comes She Wears It Well. She Wears It Well, uh, one off the rails, two off the rails is Queensbrook. Epitont poised right in behind those. Then comes Theatre Glory. Brandy Love, Echoes and Rain are the next pair. They're at the top of the hill now, about to swing downhill. Three more to jump in probably the best mares ever race ever run this close brothers mares hurdle and love envoy heads down the hill begins to free wheel and try and get away leads by a length and a half honeysuckle in second Mari's rock is there she wears it well just in behind those queensbrook wide on the course epitant uh, making progress echoes in rain the green and red making good headway fear to glory behind those now brandy love is the back marker they're coming down to the second last love envoy just in front to Honeysuckle in second position as they take the second last flight of hurdles. Uh, behind those, Mari's Rock. And then on the left with the red cap is Queen's Brook. Epiton trying to get through. She wears it well in behind those. They turn into the home straight now. Love Envoy has the lead. Honeysuckle asked to quicken. Behind these, Queen's Brook in third place. Mari's Rock is struggling in fourth, running on Echoes in Rain. Brandy Love as well. The last flight coming up now, nearest to us. The pale jacket of Honeysuckle, furthest from us. Love Envoy, the red, white, and blue. Love on boy was just in front there. To Honeysuckle in second. Queensbrook is behind those. They race up towards the line. Honeysuckle is responding to the calls of Rachel Blackmore and she'll end with a victory. Honeysuckle has done it. For his oboe, LeBroy has been pulled up, so that's uh, nine. LeBroy has been pulled up as they race away uh, on, out on their final circuit, and Tiger Roll bounding along in front. Definitely carry an error in second place. Uh, Easy's land and some nectar now together in second and third positions. They run to 26. Alpha de Zobo is behind these as Tiger Roll is a good leader there to Easy's land. And then some neck Alpha de Zobo. These are followed in by Defi de Carry and they they are going clear of the remainder. Uh, headed by Hogan's height, and then comes King Temptation. 14, Vivas has been pulled up as they run now to the A2 fence. Number 27 for the final time. Tiger Roll, Stead is into it. Brushed through the top, got over it. His lead is now only about two or three lengths to the greenish colours of Easy's Land, the favourite in second. A neck behind him to some neck, running in third place as they enter the closing stages. And Tiger Roll quickens again. Gone on by five. In fourth place, Alpha de Zobe. Defi de Carry is behind those. So they run now back towards the race course proper for the final time. Uh, out Sam is still going way back in the field. So also is Hogan's height. And they now run to the Glen Farkless Barris, the 30th for the final time. And Tiger Roll heads to the closing stages now with a five length advantage. Easy's land in second position. Sun Neck in third. Alpha de Zobo in fourth. They run now towards the home turn. Keith Donahue on Tiger Roll looks round for dangers. He won't see very many. The old fella is coming towards the home turn in search of a fifth festival victory. And it's Tiger Roll clear now to Easy's Land in second position. Some neck and Alpha de Zobo behind those. Deputy Carry is way behind in fifth position. But this is Tiger Roll at the final fence, up and over safely. It's going to be a third victory in the race for him. A fifth Cheltenham Festival success for Tiger Roll. He looks as good as ever, doesn't he? They race towards the line then. Keith Donahue and Tiger Roll have won the Glen Farkless Cross Country Chase. Golden Freeze has gone at that. 12 left. The next ditch, Desert Orchid, lands from Charter Party and Pegwell Bay. And uh, Carville's Hill's gone there, and 10 plus has taken a three length advantage from Desert Orchid. Charter Party, the former winner, is third. Yahoo is four. Cavie's Clown, five. Pegwell Bay, six. Beautiful jump by Desert Orchid, takes him within a length of uh, 10 plus. In third, Charter Party. Slalom was a faller there. Yahoo is fourth. Bally Hayne is back in fifth now. Five from home. Ten plus landed in the lead from Desert Orchid second. Charter Party third. Yahoo four. Bally Hayne five. Cavie's Clown six. Running downhill now. And 
It's four to jump now with 10 plus with a four length advantage over Desert Orchid. Still in there fighting. Yahoo coming there. He loves the mud on the far side. Chardapati in fourth. 10 plus Desert Orchid. Then Yahoo. Then Chardapati. Then Ballyhane. Racing down now towards the third last in the Gold Cup, and as they do so, it's 10 plus being pressed by Desert Orchid. Then Yahoo. Behind them comes Charter Party. This is the third last now. Desert Orchid and 10 plus has gone. He's left Desert Orchid in the lead. It's Desert Orchid now as they race to the home turn from Yahoo chasing him all the time and trying to get up on the inside with Charter Party third. Desert Orchid and Yahoo now as they race round the home turn. There's very little between them. Yahoo on the far side. He's gone on now from Desert Orchid towards the near side. Yahoo from Desert Orchid and Desert Orchid looks as though he's tiring in the ground. Yahoo who loves the mud is full of running at the second last. Yahoo jumps from Desert Orchid, but Desert Orchid is running. He's trying to come again towards the near side. It's Yahoo on the far side. Desert Orchid towards the near side. Desert Orchid's accelerating as they come to the last. Yahoo on the far side. Desert Orchid on the near side. It's Desert Orchid on the near side. Yahoo on the far side. Desert Orchid drifting over towards the stand side. He's beginning to get up. Desert Orchid is beginning to get up as they race towards the line. There's a tremendous cheer from the crowd as Desert Orchid is going to win it. Desert Orchid has won the Gold Cup. Yahoo is second. Third is John Abadi. Simon Sherwood punches the air. Desi has done it. The bookmakers will be cheering this favourite. Just everybody wants to get close to him. Oh, Desert's good. Desert Orchid's getting a fair massaging from his supporters. About three parts of a length. Nakara is in second. Long Run is on the outside of Summersby and Mastermind. They're in third, fourth and fifth together. And then about a length and a half behind those is Captain Chris. And they're now well clear from Golan Way. So into the final mile. The back straight for the final time. And the purple cap of Ruby Walsh on Cordo Star is fractionally the leader there. Tanakara in second place. Captain Chris is beginning to struggle. Summersby, long run, a masterminded at snapping at the heels of the leaders. Another plain fence. Cordo Star, masterminded a bad error there. Dropping back into fifth place. Here is the final open ditch. Number 14, and it's Cordo Star to Nakara with then long run the orange sleeve. Summersby in the green and maroon jacket behind him. Captain Chris was over it in fifth position masterminded is next the final fence in the back straight Corto star is leading by two lengths at it now got over it safely long run in second summersby third and then captain chris in fourth nakara's weakened masterminded behind those they're heading towards the home turn then and they have three to jump and in search of a fifth king george Corto star is going to lead into the straight and he's going better than anything in the race long run is in second place three lengths behind the under pressure. Captain Chris in the blue is staying on. Summersby's two lengths by and in fourth position. But they're into the home straight now. Three to jump. Cordo start, the third last. Over it safely. He's three or four lengths cleared. A long run. Captain Chris and Summersby. Heading with two fences to jump then. And Cordo Star still has this about three or four length advantage at the second last. He's at it now. He's jumped it perfectly. Long run in second position. Captain Chris in third. Summersby's behind this in fourth place. It's a five or six length lead. He's rewritten the record book so many times. Cordo Star. Long run is still trying to close on him. The last. Cordo Star. Two lengths ahead to long run in second position. They're heading towards the line. The steeplechaser of a lifetime. Cordo Star is in front. Long run's closing, but Cordo Star has done it. He's won five King Georges. Long run was second. Captain Chris was just third, and Summers be fourth. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.